everybody's closed. This is this time for the Back at uni, the bans have been in place for two weeks. To increase pressure on the uni management, staff and students have called a one-day strike. But not everyone agrees with this action, and tempers are beginning to fray. I also deserve a, a, a pay rise. Okay, well, this isn't a way of doing it, but well, not showing solidarity. But I'll tell you what, the quality of your education is going to go down even further if we don't This get is out a way of trying to make the quality of our education higher. Because we can't just keep going to work and doing it. We've got to the availability to go on strike, I did. I went on strike last okay. time. This time, I can't, I'm sorry. Come on, turn around. Please just turn around. Please 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 turn I have the right to come to you. Excuse me. We've got cameras with you. You know that? Read it. Do you support the Howard's Custer education? Come on. I don't Why support can't anybody. If you cross the picket line, it's town amount to supporting Howard's Custer education. This is a national picket. Move! Move! Yeah. Read the bin box here, that's really critical. The section. Yeah, read the boxes. The Vice-Chancellor and his deputies are meeting to resolve the crisis. How can they give their staff a pay increase when their spending budget has just been cut? I think it's going to happen, especially in view of that statement in the Herald, <clears throat> you know, the, the thing that you said on the Sunday program, is that there'll be a huge political lobby against allowing fees yes. for Australian students because, of course, all the regional universities will see that as a threat. Mm. So that not only do we have to be concerned about the flag with students and with Senate and all that sort of thing, about introducing such a measure, we may actually have to fight for it. Yes, yes. Now, it's a difficult position because there's a mm. sense in which I don't actually believe in it. No. But if, I'm, if, I'm gonna have, if, but if I'm going to have all my funds cut, then I yes, need it. Need it. That's right. <laughs> the strategy of saying that the money has to come from the government and, and we will do nothing until it does, which is what the message is here. Professor of Astrophysics, Lawrence Cram, has been given the tricky job of negotiating a deal with the academics. Uh, I, I don't think that we can do any better. Because you have to be the bad guy, don't you, Bess? I, um... I have an obligation to the Vice Chancellor to protect him from uh, from being the bad guy. Uh, I I think that um, the really important thing for me to do is to make sure that I get a very accurate reading and then I just stick to it in terms of what the university's strategy is. Um, I've got academic colleagues in this school, for example, who find it difficult to talk to me now because of the way that um, the union, well, my view at least, is that the way the union's portrayed some of the things I've said and done um, has misled them into thinking that I'm really the bad guy. We were anticipating they may have an offer for us then and we would just take it and go away. <clears throat> but I think uh, what we'll have in the meeting is uh, an apology, followed by a discussion on how they see re the remuneration packaging going and maybe what they see the quantum as being, and at that point we will probably go away and spend some time ourselves uh, looking at what they're suggesting. Um, the man assigned to represent academic staff in bargaining with the management is a doctor of theology, Paul Whiting. How's it going? Uh, you heard? <laughs> you're talking to a journalist? Yes, talking to the Herald. Uh, yeah. Yes, they ring every day at this point, because they've got um, bands are spreading around the place and uh, University of New England, the Vice-Chancellor has just resigned. And, uh, and, uh, 
is to me. Paul Whiting. Evan, how are you? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, we we have agreed to meet with them this afternoon, nevertheless, to uh, because they're going to talk about how they would like to package the remuneration offer in the new enterprise agreement. I don't know what that means. I mean, it probably means you're going to be offered a digital phone and I'm going to be offered a motor car instead of a salary rise. N knowing my luck, mate, it'll be the other way round. You'll get the car and I'll get the digital phone. <laughs> And I don't know what that does for our associate lecturers. What are they going to package for them? But uh, I don't know. We'll go in there and talk to them about that. We'll hope uh, that they will be uh, uh, realise their ineptitude enough to apologise for not having got the offer when promised. And they don't seem to have it for this afternoon either. Uh, they're bringing with them the person who's worked on the salary pack or remuneration packaging, they call it. So we'll wait and see what that means. We're meeting at two and... Uh, certainly, there's no question about the bands staying on. They're staying on. I mean, general academic stuff. As expected, no offer from management. You've got to remember that in areas where... Professor Cram is stalling. Confident time is on his side. But the academics have been waiting for a pay rise for nearly three years now, and their patience is running out. Now, unless I explain, Paul, I, mm. I do regret um, not being able to make the best efforts commitment that I made at the, um, last week's meeting. What I can't do is take a risk of coming to this table with an offer that contains an error. We need to understand that they're not um, going to some university bro. Mm. Mm. Okay, well we should, I'd like, if it's possible, to plan another meeting next week mm. on Monday. Lawrence, what are we going to actually do with the meeting? I don't know. Uh, I, well, I think it's time we did know. Um, Look, the last meeting you mapped out uh, what seemed like a shape of what we could mm -hmm. expect. Um, we now have nothing, uh, and you're keen to make yet another meeting without knowing what we're... Right, we can do it another way. We can let you know when we should have a meeting. From our point of view, the university has not been very proactive. When all the vice-chancellors stood out against the cuts, whose photograph was missing? The vice-chancellor of Sydney University. And I said to him, this staff expects some leadership of the kind that says from its Vice-Chancellor, I will stand up and fight for the, for the academic staff and the quality of this university. He didn't do it. Now, you can't expect us to be very sympathetic to the position of, I don't say our present Vice-Chancellor, but of Vice-Chancellors generally, when we see that they have not put the pressure on. What we need to try to do now is to bring such pressure to bear that the Vice-Chancellors will do what they should have been doing all along, and we hope the government will see this is a very serious situation. And we are serious about it. We're not playing with a 19.7 claim. It didn't come out of the air, and it's not an ambit claim. And, uh, I mean, those who think it's a joke, they'd better think again. Can, you, uh, can we have a few minutes? Yeah. Okay. Everyone would appreciate the door open. I've got some windows open, so. I'm sure, but this is a terrible room. room. Not having any yeah. Yeah. Expensive cars, though. <laughs> We've just got to remove the clothes. The alarm didn't go off. Is this a good time or a bad time? They're going to come back and lay down an ultimatum. That's okay. They lay down an ultimatum once every two weeks, last year for a year. We just set a meeting, don't we? And then if we can't produce it on the day, we set another one. Week, there is nothing more worse they can do than in terms of the bands that, that we've got on at the moment. Mm. Well, that's healthy. The they walked out. We could save some money. Well, we yeah. Well, there, there's a concept. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should use that in health a lot. Yeah. The CEO used to say to me, "Can we have a two-day strike? We're not meeting our budget." Um, <laughs> yes. But but Lawrence, if they come to, come back and say if you don't do X, then Y will happen. We'll see what Y is. But the reality yeah. is, for the university's point of view, at the moment, the bans on exam That's, results is the worst yeah. thing they well, could they do. Well, they like a shot. Mm -hmm. Not finding their students. Mm -hmm. Sorry to keep you, but uh, I just thought we'd check out what you about that. Look, I, I think probably the best thing to do is to set another date for a meeting. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and perhaps then, uh, at that meeting, or before that meeting, we will send you uh, 
our draft agreement for you to look at. Uh, you can endeavour to have your clauses formulated for that time as best you're able, and, and we'll take it from there.